hello and welcome to another i explores remember to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell it tells you when i've uh, put up a new video today i'm going to talk about yet yeah, a dog track yet yeah, greyhound racing it was called the gilby road stadium first meeting was in december 1932 and it had an eye fence on it now people used to come and watch it but go on the railway embankments because around here like loads of railways around here so what they did they climbed up the embankments and watched it for free from there but yeah that's when it started um, and it last ceased operation in October 1939 and then it was given back to the farmers for fields etc and the paper mill needed it back because it had a large well needed a large wood pulp and somewhere to put it thus the trains and, the, and probably a storage area but I'm going to try and show you roughly where it was I've looked at the maps uh, it doesn't exactly say but from what I've read and you know what I've come across I'm going to show you roughly where it was okay so I've come to the point in the fence where you can actually see where it was it's down there that grassy area and the little coats uh, primary school backs onto it well that's where it was down there Okay, and it was a Mr. Blindell and his Greyhound racing that proposed the track been actually built here. Obviously, it did get done and it was approved by the council, but that's where that was. I'm going to go a bit further down and give you a much better view of it. Okay, so it's called the Gilby Road Stadium, and I've got a, a copy of the Grimsby Telegraph here, dated uh, December the 17th, 1932, and it said Grimsby Track Open, first dog racing programme and there were seven events on that particular first night that it opened and it actually says on here it's uh, Gilby Road Little Coats was old last night meaning it must have been on the 16th of December 1932 but there now we're up to it now I'm going to turn this round that is where it was through there you can see it where them goalposts are obviously it would have stretched quite far because the races are measured in yards like 275 yards 475 yards etc etc Dif different distances i'm going to read out some of the names of these dogs i've actually got a list of that as well but yeah it was in this area and i think that the uh, the way in is a bit further down this this way i'm going to show you that shortly okay so one of these meetings that was held on a thursday and the Saturday, the 19th and the 31st of October, I'm assuming that's 1932, it hasn't got a date on it. It says at 4 pm, and it was sponsored by DH and A Bloomer, and it looks like it's very, very faded. It was on West St. Mary's Gate in Grimsby, okay, and it's got Rolls Royce, Rovers, Rileys, Elmans, I think that says, and I don't know what the other word says, but yeah, and something commercial lorries. So that sponsored one of that night, that particular night, what I've just read out there. Right, as I was saying, I'm going to read some of the names of these uh, these dogs. It, it's hard to see because it's very faded. Um, you know, looking around the archives and that, where I go in the town, all <laughs> so I had to read these. So you've got uh, the first race, the 280 yards, little Jess. Tim, and I don't know what that says, it's like Bluely, I think, Duke, and, and that says, I don't know what that says, something squid, Dad, I, I can't see it, and the second race is a 380 yard handicap, it's the biggest ever, it's a, oh, no, the dog's called the biggest ever, which, by the way, was a parade in town called that, I'll do that on a later video, and then the next dog was Anne, Tina, Ken, and Connie. And then in the third race, the 475 yards, Bees, Bills, Pam and Victory, Victor, Victory, I think that says, and Evergreen. So you can see there's some really uh, good names for dogs there. See down there, that is a lot better, I think a better shot. Imagine that, eh? a stadium. Oh, where the camera is now, that's where all the railway tracks were, and that's where they would have been standing for three, the people watching on the embankments, because that's the side of where all the railways were. OK, so uh, let's move down a bit. Just come off there, up from down the bridge I've just been filming. Now, there is an entrance here. Now, whether or not this was the original entrance into there, I haven't got a clue. It may be. I've come round the other side of the school now, where the grass is, that's where the track is, or was, through there. Now, I don't know if this was the entrance would there have been two but there's sort of a bit of a clue sort of i mean there's cobbles down there look now i don't know whether that's the side of a road or not but look i'm not going to take the camera much further but that's basically in the middle of a road going down that's in the road 
Now, it may be a bit of a clue that there was an entrance going into the actual Greyhounds itself through there. Not really sure, but... Is it, ah, yeah, I'll point that out. See where that car is over there in the distance? That's where I've just been stood over there. Okay, so let's move on a bit further. Okay, so I was a little bit more history of the West Marsh there, seeing about the dog tracks. Now, there is going to be a lot more from this area, which... So, I'd like to thank all my new uh, subscribers to the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, keep watching my content. There will be a lot more. So on that note, I'll see you all next time on the next video. Bye for now.